my name, Diego Molina Castrillon. I'm the manager of national programs at the Civic Center, and I'm coming at you from uh, Miami, Florida. And so I'm just going to share a little bit about what the work it is that we do while I share this. Um, so if you haven't heard about the Civic Center before, we're a national, nonprofit, nonpartisan organization. And our sole mission is to give students, high school students who are eligible to register or pre-register to vote. Um, and we do this uh, by training students at schools to run their own uh, uh, voter registration drive. Uh, our model is student-led, teacher-supported. We know that teachers uh, have a lot on their plate at the moment. And we also recognize that the best way to have students uh, engage is uh, to have them communicate with other students. And so here's some of the things that we offer. I host uh, twice a week workshops where we show the students what are some of the considerations that they should take uh, when planning their own voter registration drive. Uh, we also offer a democracy in a box toolkit. Uh, once students register their drive, we will ship a physical box uh, where you're going to have a bunch of different resources, uh, stickers, um, clipboards, posters, signage, really anything that students are gonna need except for registration forms. Uh, to run a successful drive. Um, we also, uh, we're running this, we're piloting this program where we want to recognize the effort that it takes for students to run uh, a drive. And so we have a couple of requirements and then if students fulfill those requirements, uh, they are eligible to receive a $150 gift card. Um, it's, uh, Again, it, to us, it's more about recognizing the planning and the effort and all the tiny details that students need to consider when registering their drive, when running a successful drive. And so that's one of the ways that we want to recognize uh, that part. Um, we off offer several other resources that are uh, available on our website, uh, email templates for students to outreach towards their teachers uh, to let them know what is going on. Uh, to administrators to ask for support, uh, to uh, their peers to let them know what they're planning, uh, even to local organizations to to get uh, to garner some support for the drive, whatever that could be. I thought so. Okay, cool. Um, and I, we also want to let you all know that we have a. Uh, we offer direct teacher support. So a lot of times in my workshops where we'll have a predominantly students, there will be a few teachers to join and they're more than welcome to, but we also have specific resources for teachers, uh, toolkits for them to, re to, to understand what are some of the ways that they could support their students. Again, we don't want teachers running their drives. Uh, we want students being the ones taking charge of this. Uh, and we find that that's more motivating to the students and it's a little bit more engaging for them as well. But we recognize that we need teachers to be a part of the process. And so we have some toolkits where teachers can see uh, what are some of the information that they should gather at the beginning of the drive? Uh, what are some of the considerations as far as like deadlines? And uh, what are some of the processes that you might need to consider for your particular state? Uh, those big picture things we also offer to the students. Again, as a former classroom teacher, I want to, to leave teachers alone as much as possible, but we recognize that we need an adult in the room sometimes. And so we, we try to do both of those things, uh, but mainly our work is targeting students so that they're, they'll be empowered and ready to run a drive at their own school. Let me see if... Uh... So our requirements are very straightforward, and I know that this is like a great way to motivate students to get engaged. Um, they attend one of the workshops, then they register their drive just so that we can, we're able to send the, the resources. Uh, the resources also, aside from the democracy in a box, also include uh, online uh, link so that students can keep a tally of who is registering in their drive using an online platform. So a lot of times it's just uh, you tell people, hey, register online using this website. But if you don't have a tool to keep track of who actually did it or who didn't, then it's a data point that you're missing out on. So that's, I think, one of the beautiful tools that we have for people to be able to track the amount of students that actually did register uh, during their drive. 
And then once the, the, the entire drive cycle is over and we hear about like, what were some successes, some challenges, even if students weren't able to run a drive because of whatever reason, uh, we still want to recognize that they, they invested this time uh, because they're focused on improving their community. So they're still more than welcome to, to participate in the gift card program. And then I think the last thing I'll show is this. This is what comes in our democracy in a box. Uh, Randy, we've never met, but I'm a big fan of your organization. Um, we actually do include some of these flyers from vote riders because again, even be, since we are a national organization, it's very difficult to us to provide that uh, hands-on or like on the ground support. And so we know that vote riders is one of the organizations that is able to, to help uh, drives out be successful in that way. And these are just some of the tools that we offer students to help them out. Um, because of voter registration week uh, this week, uh, I'm hosting three workshops. Uh, students and teachers are more than welcome. I've even had uh, parents attend as well. Everybody's welcome. I think we are uh, transparent. We want to show people what we're doing. And we want students to know that uh, it's a large collaboration. It's not just them and their community. Uh, we want to make it a national celebration. And we're happy to provide any support that to anybody who might be interested. So that's my time. Thank you for attending. And uh, I'm going to stick around and answer any questions at the end, like Neil mentioned.